Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw an Among Us character with an Ushanka hat. It's kind of like one of those, um, I guess like Russian hats or something like that. It's like furry. Uh, it's going to be real simple, easy, and for beginners. I'm going to be using this Crayola brand marker. If you're a beginner, you will be able to do this all the way through. So grab anything. Uh, I'm going to be using this marker here and I'm also going to be using a uh, regular printing paper but you can use anything you want uh there's a supply list if you want as well for suggested stuff but like i said you don't need to use this stuff so let's get started first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with a curved line for the top of the visor area I'm gonna curve down here for the front of the visor there the window the crewmate looks out of I'm gonna curve down for the other side and then curve underneath so now you got this like nice window looking thing here it also looks like a pillow to me and I, I always think that so the reason I say this because I wanted to I want to compare it to something simple so it's easy it, you should do that too maybe you think it looks like a a lunch box too full of lunch uh, that's full of lunch or something I don't know but when you do that it helps you memorize uh, for when you draw it later on I'm gonna pull down right here so front of the stomach down into the foot that can be either like a like a slightly curved line than a straight line or it can just be a curved line all the way down or a straight line all the way down so I'm gonna go back here gonna mark that area just a little bit behind and I'm gonna draw the longest stroke in the entire drawing. This could be that line down his back all the way down to his foot. Pulling in that bottom part of that foot. Now this side, finding the other bottom part of that foot, pulling up, pulling inward for the lower portion of his body, and then pulling up there, connecting that in. Alrighty. So from here to here, halfway in, in your mind's eye, go back, line here. You have the top portion of the backpack that's going to go on him. Down here, lower portion of the body. In your mind's eye, go back, mark here. And now you're going to connect it. So now, to me, that looks like a loaf of bread. So that allows me to draw it later on completely from my mind. All right. Uh, also, if you are looking to draw cool characters from your mind, if you're looking to kind of expand that library in your mind, um, hit that uh, hit that subscribe button. Basically, if you want to draw anything, definitely hit that subscribe button. What I'm doing here is I'm adding uh, three videos every single weekday. And so at the very end of the week, there's 15 different drawing lessons on different topics, like every topic I can imagine. Uh, so the reason I do that is because I want to give you choice. I want to give you choice to draw whatever it is that you want. Um, so let's say one day you feel like drawing Among Us, there's a playlist for that. You will easily be able to find that. If you want to draw, I don't know, uh, Disney cartoons, I'm going to have a Disney playlist I'm filling out. Uh, there is... Uh, you know, a Pokemon playlist that I'm filling out as well. That's the reason why I do so many is to give you uh, a buffet of options of what you want to draw that day. Uh, so th if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe right now before you forget. Just subscribe immediately. Um, all right. Let's jump back in. So curve here. Top of the head. Pulling down. So right there, it's the hat that's kind of cutting off the top of his forehead. And now it's going to be kind of wobbly line here. I like to do the wobbly line. It's not quite a square, but it can be. Over here, it is essentially a square pulling down, having a little notch kind of come out here. And then that is there. Pulling a line across here. It's gonna have this folding thing, so it's gonna go down. And kind of wiggle it down, it's supposed to be fuzzy. And he's gonna have a kind of an icon here, and uh, it's gonna be like an upside down triangle with uh, just some sort of like symbol inside, but it's so far away, I'm just gonna draw like a peanut shape. 
And so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, thicken the lines throughout the drawing because I want it to uh, look like the animation to the game. The game has massively thick lines, I noticed. So I'm just gonna thicken it out. If you're doing it in a pencil, just kick back and listen and hang out. Uh, so I've been doing this channel for about six years. Uh, I have updated it more in the last six months than I have in the last six years because of the whole pandemic. And you know what? It's been one of the uh, most amazing things I've found and I really found a lot of happiness on here and everybody's super, super nice. Um, if you like what I'm doing here, if you like the mission I'm after, I'm basically after drawing, like filling up the library with everything. Um, if you like that, um, you can help the channel out. It's just a click for you, but for me, it'll mean the world. But if you share a video, just share it anywhere. Uh, so if you share it like on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, Instagram, anytime you do that, it just, it, it has a huge, huge impact on the channel. Um, so definitely, uh, yeah, definitely do that if you can. It's, it's such a big, big deal for me. Uh, and also the channel for us. Um, one other thing, if you like drawing cute stuff, uh, basically cute has a certain proportion to it. Uh, so for example, these crewmates and the mini crewmates look different, right? Why do they look different? It's not just the scale, you know, it's not just cause they're smaller physically. It is, uh, their proportion. So like the shapes that they use as well, like the, the mini crewmate has like a round, uh, kind of circle, circular. Uh, you know, instead of that pillow shape, it's like a complete circle. Um, and it also, it's larger compared to the body. So basically, I go over those proportions um, in that cute drawing ebook. Uh, it basically go through these proportions that almost everything has. So definitely, if you like, if you want to draw, you know, cute characters out of your mind and in your sketchbook and just kind of just to doodle them, I show you that that easy, easy formula. And that is in a little chart that I put in that in that ebook. Um, the ebook is short, uh, so go check that out. It's completely, completely free. So get it free uh, in the description. You're gonna have to find it though. I put it somewhere in the description. And it's just kind of like hard to keep track of certain things, but go check that out if that's your thing. Uh, one more thing. Uh, Actually, it's kind of it really. There's really no more. I'm gonna thicken this one out too. Also, I have an Etsy store, check that out. A um, lot of cool stuff on there. I'm about to update it again. Uh, this channel is pretty much all I think about. So that is it. Thank you so much. You guys are so amazingly nice. Uh, everybody's been so nice to me. Uh, if you made it to this point, you made it to the very, very end of the lesson. So if you did, hit, uh, oh, not hit. If you did make it to this point, say hi to me in the comments. And that means, you know, you made it here. And I'll know that you made it here. Talk to you later. This is easy pictures to draw. Talk to you next time.